Do you need to transfer files from your iPhone to your Windows PC or laptop, but you don't know how to do it? Well, you're in the right place. If you don't have a MacBook and can't use AirDrop to transfer files, or you simply don't know how to do it, then watch this video until the very end so you don't make any mistakes. And the best part is, we don't have to use any cables or chargers for this. We will open the web browsers on our Windows PC, as well as our iPhone, and we have to navigate to a website that's called PairDrop.net. I'm going to make sure to leave the website link in the description of this video, so you can open it from there. Once we're on this website, the interface is going to look something like this. This website is something like AirDrop for Windows PCs. You can transfer photos, videos, and other files from your iPhone to your PC, and it's absolutely free. So, we will see our available devices pop up in the center of the screen, and the website will give our device a generic name. We can easily transfer files from our iPhone to our PC, and vice versa. So I will select my Windows PC here, and I have an option to transfer photos or videos from my photo library. I can take a photo from my camera, but since I want to transfer other files to my PC, I will select the third option, which is Choose Files. That's going to open the Files app on my iPhone, and I can select a file which I want to transfer to my PC. That can be a PDF document, a MP3 file, a Word document, or any other file type that we have in here. We just have to make sure that the file which we want to transfer is located in our Files app. When you select the file which you want to transfer, you can tap on this Open button at the top right, and we will get a prompt on our Windows device. They will ask us if we want to accept the file or decline it. I will accept it, and the file will be automatically downloaded to my PC. As you can see, here is the audio file which I've transferred from my iPhone to my Windows PC. And you can do this with other file types as well. That's it for this video everyone. If this was helpful, make sure to leave a like on this video, and I will see you soon.